All right, welcome back to Factory Town. So this time out, we discovered cotton way over here. It's right over here. We can't get to it without, well, we can, but uh, not very easily without taking out some of these trees. And so the first thing I want to do is build a bridge and then organize some construction over here to get some of that cotton and bring it back. So first things first, uh, I put on my F3 menu everything I needed to build a bridge with. And let's, let's just build one across right here. So what I do is I take these little wooden structures here. And I don't... Actually, let me try this. So here's a stone bridge. All right, which will be as, as a road. That one won't work. So we'll put pillars in and then put a stone bridge on top of it. We're using wooden pillars. See, it's deep enough that um, you, it's got to be too deep. And I think that one is too. Yep. So we'll go too deep and then a stone bridge and then a stone bridge and another stone bridge. Now, so a wagon can get across this. Nothing can get underneath it, but a wagon can get across that. And if you look at the build menu, structural blocks, all kind of stuff. Uh, most of these make sense. Uh, stone wall that is navigable on top but not through it. Oh, that's interesting. So you can drive something on top of it but not through it. Okay, and then a bridge and then these little scaffold pillars. The road ramp, the stairs they can walk up. The road ramp is the only thing that's an actual ramp. This is steps. You could put a scaffold ramp up and then pay the money to put the road on top of it. Let me show you how. So, so if you do like this and then you click a road and put it on top of it, it turns it into that. The thing is though, is that the road costs two gold coins and one block, whereas the bridge just costs two blocks. So it's cheaper to just build the bridge. There we go. Okay. So anyway, now that we have that done, uh, we have 58 out of 60, and I got guys running around all over the place. And you're still picking at that? I tell you what. So you're actually putting it... Wait, really? You're putting it in here? Uh, completed research forestry. New building unlocked forester. New structure unlocked tree planter. Okay. Now hold on. You, worker dude. I want you to come over here. That's your station. Alright. And who else? You're doing the blocks. We have three of you doing stone. So I'm going to follow you. Alright, you, you're the stone worker. Let's put you, oops, over here as well, okay? Wherever you're going. And that's enough workers for now. And then I want to make a copy of a wagon. So let me, uh, I forget what I'm doing. What am I doing with this wagon? What's in here? Apples? And the apples is being taken all the way to the market. All right, let me just make a copy of the wagon here. Remember, hover and C. So that's a copy of a wagon, which I can put down anywhere. And we'll get a wagon over here, all right? So we have two dudes and a wagon. And I want to put a barn in. So I believe that the wagon can run through the crops and get over here. Can he not? Let's see. I guess not. So that's an interesting route. So you can go here. But then... Yeah, he can't get up here because he can't go through the grain. All right. But he can go over here. But he can't get through the grain. So I need to get to the cotton bad. So what's the quickest route? You guys. You can go all the way. Aha. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. F1. Build a barn. We're going to put a barn right here. All right, the wagon's gonna stay where it is. 
you two are going to take the cotton, bring it back to the barn. You, cotton, barn. This is inefficient, but this gets me my cotton, right? And we'll let the barn fill up with cotton for a little while. What do I got? 59 to 60? One more guy. Okay, and you, same thing. Cotton, barn. Right? Alright. While that's going on... I want to get the cotton over here. So that I can start planting cotton. Now you see how this replanted itself? And that's why I had the one guy putting grain in here. Which, is he still doing it? No. Because I needed it to plant grain. And so I have to hit this. Farming, mining. Here's the tree planter. Alright. But I want to plant grain here and here and here and here. Okay, so now I've planted grain, although we had plenty of it. And then inside the base, I have 22 grain left. So what I want to do, if I want to plant cotton, is I want to fill up... Let me click on the base so I can point to it. I want to fill up this with cotton. Can I upgrade? Upgrade 200 gold, 10 leather, 20 stone brick, 20 happiness, upgrade. Right? So that's the next level. Can I upgrade any of these houses? Oh yeah, upgrade, 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 up, nope, 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 yep, upgrade, upgrade, add people, upgrade, upgrade, and right, you can see, you can hear some more sounds, we're on the, what should be the final update for early access, so in other words, when early access comes out, which is the day that this video goes live. I think this, this video will go live at 7, 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And at 10 a.m., I believe, is when early access starts. So, let's see. So, I've got more people now. I've got, I can have up to 76 workers. And uh, how many cotton do I have in the barn? 10 cotton already. Yeah. More guys. More guys, more guys. One, two, three. You, dum dums. Cotton, barn. You, cotton, barn. You, cotton, barn. Okay, now, let's look at the recipe for the conveyor belts. Is it logistics? Nope. Is it paths? E cloth conveyor belt requires. Uh, it's made at the workshop, and it's under gadgets, and it requires one... Come on now. I guess it doesn't say. Okay, let me go. Let me just go to the workshop. I don't know what I, what I clicked there, but uh, let me go over to the workshop. Where is the workshop? Because right now we're making, making and selling wagon wheels. I know that's a favorite of mine. Speed... Oh, no, I turned it off. Okay. Worker zero... Uh, if we want to make a conveyor belt, cloth conveyor belt is one cloth, two wooden wheels. I keep calling them wagon wheels. One stone and four seconds. All right, I'm going to need another workshop. But we'll want to set the recipe to cloth is either one wool or two cotton. So cloth is going to be the next recipe. Oh, we can make both. Just depends on how many workers we want to put in. All right, I've turned on both. Okay. So, anyway, what do we got here? In the barn, 24. Okay, you wagon. I want you to take the cotton. And I want you to return it to the base, please. Because I don't have a better place to store it at the moment. I don't think that... Let me pause the game a minute. So, farming... Farm tile. Let me put down some farm tiles. Because we'll, I want to do cotton here. Should I make a new farm for cotton? Should I make a new farm for cotton? 
Yeah, let me make a new farm for cotton. Actually, let's think about this. Think, think, think. This is my neighborhood, okay? We might as well get going. This is my neighborhood. And I want, all my houses are gonna go here because they're served by the food market and the general store. And they're mostly happy. Why is this guy unhappy? Consume food, consume general. I don't know why you're unhappy. But we have 13 happiness. Um, uh, right, so the workshop's going to make the conveyor belts, and then I want the conveyor belts to do what? Basically just go up and over and streamline this whole thing. We have these rocks that we can do. We have uh, more grain over there that we can take in faster, because the wagons kind of gunk up the place. Uh, like, see it... I mean... If they stay on the road, they're pretty fast, but otherwise they go kind of crazy. Like here's the apples. I think we're taking the apples, yeah, to the market. And so it's going up and over here because it's ended up going over here. So I'm gonna have to think about what to do as far as conveyor belts go. But we definitely can move a conveyor belt over there. Now, dude, have you ever, is this your first trip? Your inventory is four. Have you already made a trip? You have, we already have four cotton. How about that? All right. So then, do we really want to deliver cotton to the base? We really want to deliver cotton to the grain mill. All right, so hold on. You, uh, can I just change your, I don't think I can change your destination. So I want you to take cotton and I want you to deliver it to, not the grain mill, the workshop. Okay, and then as far as the workshop goes, let's start cranking this up. Four workers, so we're making uh, tons of wagon wheels. And did I still have somebody taking the wagon wheels here over? I don't think so. Wow, you went fast. These guys are fast. Yeah, I don't think I have anybody. No, if you highlight over it, there's nobody delivering those wagon wheels. So our output is just filling up. Uh, we're not getting any wood either. What's your deal? This is empty. Yeah, I need to... Let's put another guy on the wood. You, wood, to the barn. Uh, you take planks, right? So this creates planks and delivers them here. So how about another guy? And you, I want you to take, settle down, settle down. I want you to take planks and deliver them here. Right, and what are you doing? You're the wagon that does the wagon. Oh, you got a wagon wheel. There you go. Just a wheel. But you're basically going to take all the wheels and we're not going to be able to make conveyor belts. So select recipe. Cloth conveyor belt. One cloth, two wagon wheels, one stone, four seconds, makes a cloth conveyor belt. So I want you to make that too. And that means what? Where's that? Where's that wagon? You. No, just go over here. There you go. Uh, just park. Don't park on the road. Just park by the side here. Right there. Okay. So now we need somebody to take stone. And where are we taking the stone? 254 here. All right. You're taking boards over. <laughs> I guess we can use some dude. There you go. You, I want you to take brick over to here, please. There we go. And then what do we want to do with the cloth conveyor belt? We want to store the cloth conveyor belt where? In a barn? Right? Uh, rotate, 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 rotate. Put the barn right here. Yeah, for lack of a for lack of a better place to put it. 
And it doesn't really make a lot of sense to have them crammed together like this because then you're limited to what sides you can go on. But this basically has six cloth conveyor belts. So we can put another guy who, whoops, whose sole job is to take the cloth conveyor belt, put him in the barn. There it goes. And we could definitely automate this. However, the only output is through the front, which is something you have to think about if you're going to automate it. So you'd want to go from the front over. What are you guys waiting for? Uh, the wood wheels are maxed. Oh, can I control? And we're out of cotton. Right? Yeah, we're waiting on the... Uh oh, where's the, where's the cotton delivery dude? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it'll go slow. You will go slow while we're slowly delivering. The barn now has eight conveyor belts. Ooh, that's good. And I think they're automatic. All right, and the barn now has a lot of cotton. So let's copy the wagon. Copy, right? And we're 72 out of 76, and I want you to take the cotton from the barn, and I want you to also deliver it to the, where am I? To not the grain mill, to the workshop, please. Okay. And what's the workshop doing? We are full of wood wheels. We can't make any more cloth than the cloth conveyor is, is jammed, jammed up right now, right? Uh, and let's build a stone path. This could potentially get expensive. This is F3, right? Yeah, let's see what we can do with this. One, two, we got plenty. Uh, this hasn't laid, laid down yet, so this is gonna cost me... Uh, 36 and 18, we have plenty. And let's go over this way. And let's go over this way, right in front of it. There we go. So that road will really speed things up now. How do they do passing-wise? Yeah, they get back on the road, so passing's fine. Okay. That will speed things up. And I suppose... Can we put, yeah, they're having to go through the wood. Actually, they're going on the edge of the water or they're going in the water. I can't tell. Right? But we got a lot of cotton. Perfect. And what do we have? Oh, I said it again. Sorry. What do we have in here? This barn has a ton of apples. Sellable. We need another wagon. Okay. Okay. Uh, copy. I don't have the resources. All right, time to build some houses. It's all about building the houses. Can I put the houses on top of the houses? No. And, yeah, we'll just put these. Why is it red? Not enough capacity. Upgrade your base. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. The base can't upgrade until I have 10 leather produced from a pasture. So I pretty much have everything I need except for the leather produced by a pasture. Right. Right. So I'm going to have to do that to upgrade. Um, but let's, let's just try something though. We're delivering the rocks to the base. I want to try... I want to try doing a conveyor belt. So logistics blocks, structural blocks, paths, cloth conveyor belt. All right, so I want to show how to build the conveyor belt plus a chute in the easiest way possible so that you're not having to fiddle around with the individual pieces. So I'm going to build a bridge with an arch on the top over here. Now it doesn't have to be this tall. We know that they can get under one this short, 
but this looks better. So I'm going to make it this tall. Then I'm going to select my cloth conveyor belt and I'm going to sit on top of this and I'm going to drag down and the 3D is kind of tricky, but basically what I'm doing, let me see if I can change the angle here. Right? So what I'm doing is I'm going down and then I'm taking a turn and now I'm, I'm, that hits the ground right there. Okay? So there. These are in the wrong direction. Don't worry about it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is with the conveyor belt still selected, I'm going to hit the control key and drag over once. Alright, so we go like this. Kind of wasting one of the cloth conveyor belts, but now I'm going to sit here and I'm going to right click on this so it removes the conveyor belt and all I'm left with is the scaffolding. Okay, then I'm going to select, oops, whoops, whoops, I'm going to select the chute and the chute's already in the direction I want to go. Now I'm going to hold down the control key again. Okay, and let me position over here so I can do this all the way. So with the shoot up here, hold down the control key, click and drag all the way over to the base. Kaboom. It makes a gravity defying ramp. And this is exactly what we need to automate feeding the balls into the base. Okay. Now you've got to change the ramp directions. So again, I'll select the cloth ramp and all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it in the direction I want to go. So if you go like this, they're going up like that. That's no good. Then I go like this, and they're going up like this. Then I go like this, and I think I can rotate this one. Actually, hit the move, maybe? Yeah, and then rotate. No, how do I rotate this? Uh, I need to rotate this. Okay, well, that's no good. All right, well, I can just install. It looks like I just click on it. So you just click on it. I don't know if I used a cloth or not. I may have, but um, I have 40 of them. But so anyway, this will be how it works. So let's start moving. Now my guys are all running into the base because that's all they know how to do, except for that guy. That guy's just standing there. All right, so you uh, just get over here for a minute, okay? I've got to install a chute for them to figure out what to do. So I'm going to put a chute right here. And then after that, see this guy with the rock? Can I click on him? There he is, the worker. Just click on him, just click on him, and then go over here and click and drag to the chute, and he'll figure it out, and put the rock on. And the same with this guy. Just click on him, and then click and drag over here to the chute, and he figures it out. Same with this guy. Click and drag, and he figures it out. Right? And uh, there was even one guy that was doing rice somewhere. Uh, we can put rice on the chute, too. Uh, we've got three guys. They're all doing rocks. Uh, we can put another guy down. All right. And you, how about you harvest some grain? How about you harvest this grain because it annoys me? Or can you harvest this grain? Can we get under there? Yeah. Harvest this grain from under here and get over here. There, because I don't like the way it's growing through there anyway. I think you can get around and do that. Yeah, there you go. And boom. Now we have both going into the base. There it goes. How cool is that? Right? But we're almost out of room. Okay? If you look at this thing, uh, we hardly have any room left for stone. And it is rising quick because of this conveyor belt. And we've got 24 rice in there. But it's going to rise fast because of the conveyor belt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So now that's a way to make a great uh, chutes and ramps, chutes and conveyors, conveyors and chutes. I want, I'm trying to do a play on words of chutes and ladders, but it's not working out. All right. Anyway, uh, so next time we have to figure out how to upgrade the base. We need 200 gold. We need 10 leather, which uh, can be produced by the pasture and uh, 20 stone, 20 happiness. We don't have the happiness, so I'll have to figure out how to get everybody happier. But uh, this is where I'm gonna leave it for now with our first conveyor belt to feed the base here. 
All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.